All right, Kim. So we're in. We're sitting in the middle of your salon right now. Yes. Um, off, and we're off Robertson. So yes. this is in the heart of Beverly Hills. No, correct? it's actually West, West Hollywood. Hollywood oh, okay. All in, right. in one of the hottest areas because awesome. we're right off Melrose and Beverly. How many? How many different salons have you owned, ran throughout your career? Would you believe eight? Oh wow. Yes. So, running. And you had them four. in the montage too, right? Correct. Both in and out in Vegas as well. Yes. So, okay. so we had awesome. montage. And then in Vegas, yes. Um, and uh, you know, right now, uh, the reason we moved from Beverly Hills to West Hollywood, which is literally one mile yeah. from where we were. And it sounds so far, but it really <laughs> isn't. It, Just right you know, down the road? Yes, it's literally right down the road. But um, you know, it's a different hipper vibe. Yeah, so you kind of see the, the client that comes in as almost like a canvas where you can, express your art in a way. Absolutely. Uh, I'm actually what they call a master colorist. Mm -hmm. uh, it's someone who does really great color. Uh, Vogue voted me the best blonde during the business. Oh, like so you that. can't get better than that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, color is hard. You know, having hair color uh, really is a very specific thing. And uh, I've just been doing it for over 20 years. Yeah. When you do coloring, are you just changing like one hair color to another, or you're doing highlights, or what's that What's that process look like as someone who's never like done hair coloring before? <laughs> you know, the whole idea is to enhance your hair, yeah. whatever color that is. Okay. So you have to look at skin tone, eye color, yeah. all these different things. So, uh, you know, hair is your biggest accessory. So when you go like, let's say from blonde to brown, it's such a statement. Mm. or brown to blonde yeah. and it's all that so it's really about you know how you feel about yourself and making that personal statement do you ever have it where it's like you kind of know someone isn't gonna look good with what they're like asking you for all the time and do you do you like do you still do it and like try no. to make it good or no okay. <laughs> you know it's almost like a home yeah you just know that it, it, you, you know better when yeah. they want to see it yeah. and you're like you're not gonna like yeah. it yeah it's that gut feeling yeah. it's that and you and you explain it to them you know yeah. just say this is not great for your skin tone or you know it's high maintenance yeah do you have like a if you would consider this like this is the top person that i've done hair for or like Oh um, yeah, we have a list of who's. Uh, could you go through it a little sure. bit? Sure, I've done Gwyneth Paltrow, Britney Spears, Kate Hudson. It's fun, and you know what the most fun right now is the new kids coming in. Some that I don't even know. Like it's so funny. They'll sit in the chair, and all of a sudden I'll realize, oh my gosh, you're doing a movie, and yeah. we're doing your hair for it. Yeah. Oh, I just thought we we're doing your hair. So uh, that, that's my most fun. If you were to like name off kind of your, the the ones who really like, you know what, this is who I would, this is how I want to do it, or like who molded the way that you do this, um, who would that be? You would never believe this. It wasn't a hairdresser. It was actually Wolfgang Puck. Really? Yes. <laughs> is that crazy? You have to, uh, you got to go on. Totally so, different. Yeah. But you know what? Cooking and creating is so close to hair. I know it sounds so weird, but it, it, it's something we all relate to. We all understand. Yeah. We all kind of get if it's not good or it's bad. Or, yeah. And I just find him, like myself, a foreigner who uh, came here, really made something of himself, yeah. and really just succeeded. Yeah. I'm so thankful that you did this interview with us. It was a great time. Thank I hope you. that you know, all the viewers enjoy. Yes. Um, it's a, it's a magical thing you have going here, and I, I love to see what you're sharing with the world. Yeah. And Brian, thank you for this, because you know, honestly, it gives a lot of people opportunity to really share their story. Yeah. And you know, I think that's what it's about, sharing. Like we go back to that, not selling, but sharing. Yeah. The more you share, the more stories you share, the more relatable. I, I think everyone just raises, and it just raises everyone to the top. Yeah. So let's get you started. Yeah, let's you ready? go. <laughs> let's see what you All right. to do. Come on. I was hoping to finally shampoo my hair this week. So. <laughs> you got it, you in the right spot. Yeah. Make me look like a shiny young bride. Uh -huh, you're gonna get ginfoed. There we go. You have a lot of your own products, right? Yes, we do. Kim actually has his line here. Cool. And then we also use a different, different, different shampoos and for different things. Yeah.
like it's got more of a natural flow to it. Like I've been fighting back and forth with my hair for the different ways that it goes. I feel like with the way that you cut it, it kind of, it just sits naturally how I imagine my hair should go or when it's a perfect day and my hair's sitting right. So I thought you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the camera? I'm Igor Boyka and call the song. Awesome. Thank you very much.